Hello, nature lovers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Environmental Systems and Societies. Today's video is all about transfers, transformations, flows, and storage. In other words, how matter moves through a system. As matter and energy move through a system, scientists classify what happens to matter and energy. And the terms they tend to use are flows, storage, transfers, and transformations. Matter and energy, they either move through a system or they stay placed in a system. They're stored there. So one of the two, they're either moving or they're staying put. Um, and depending on which is what we call it, either, transfer, either a flow or a storage. So flow is the term we use to talk about energy and matter moving through the system. Matter and energy can move two ways through the system. It can either be transferred from one place to another or they can transform from one thing into another. So transfers, let's start there. They're the movement of energy or matter without the energy or matter changing form. So an example is glucose in plants transferring to the animal that eats it. The glucose doesn't change when this cow eats the grass. The glucose that was in the grass is still the glucose in the cow, but it's just moved places. Another example that's not a living thing is water. So when water moves down a stream from one place to the next, it doesn't change. It moves location, but doesn't change what it is. It doesn't change to ice. It doesn't change to oxygen. It's still water. But by contrast, you have transformations. And transformations are energy or matter that change from one form to another. So an example of using energy is photosynthesis. Light energy is transformed by the plant into glucose, which is chemical energy. And so the sunlight hits the plant, the plant actually transforms it, changes it physically into glucose. Now using matter as an example instead of energy would be ice melting into water. Um, they're both technically water, but one's solid, one's liquid. It's changed state. And so the water's changed um, from solid to liquid. Another example of that would be just glucose changing into ATP or glucose changing into starch or starch changing into fat. All of those are transformations. So here's a little quiz. Coal's burned into power plant. Chemical energy in the coal is changed into heat. Now that heat's used to turn liquid water into steam, which turns a turbine to make electricity. So I'm describing either several transfers or several transformations. Which one? Transfers or transformations? Do, 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 do. Okay, the answer is transformations. The chemical energy in coal is transformed into heat energy. The heat energy is transformed into mechanical energy, mechanical energy into electrical energy, and so on. Uh, a side note, the thing to remember about entropy here is that every one of those transformations loses some of that energy as heat. So that's something to kind of think about. Now, there's four basic types of transformations. You have matter to matter, you have energy to energy, you have matter to energy, and you have energy to matter. And you could just make a little chart and organize that out. And there's examples given right here in the video. Um, and transfers, really when we think about how transfers, what makes up transfers, it can be the movement of material through living things, like when a coyote eats a rabbit, or it can be the movement of material in a non-living process, like water moving down a stream, or it can be the movement of energy through ocean currents, or not just ocean currents, movement of energy, period, which would be ocean currents that take heat from the equator up to the poles. Now storages, on the other hand, these are when matter or energy stay in one place, okay? Um, they're not flowing, they're not moving, they're just staying in one place. And here's examples. Energy stored as fat in animals, water in an aquifer underground, energy stored as coal under the, the ground, deep in the ground. We have carbon dioxide stored as, as uh, in the air, we have sugar stored as um, nectar, we have sugar, yeah, in the flowers. Now, when we put all this together, we have to think one thing that you might have noticed about energy and matter is that energy flows through a system. It starts at one end and it exits at the other end, usually as heat. But matter will go through the system and be reused. It'll be recycled and, and come back around into the system. So energy flows, matter cycles. Okay, that's it for transfers and transformations, flows and storages. I hope it was clear. If it wasn't, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Peace out, homies.